What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another Black Friday Cyber Monday promo break, which is Jaspie's 48 box Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend football mixer random divisions. This random division break was $16.50 a spot. You get eight spots. Everybody gets a random division in the NFL. No veteran common ship. And then each spot gets four Black Friday Cyber Monday promo spots. Now, that's what we're going to do here. So congratulations to Christopher Nelson. We had one filler, and he won that for a fraction of the price. And then Christopher got last by Mojo, Brian Frank, Carl, Kenneth, Alfonso, Robert, and Gail. Thank you guys all. So let me copy and paste the list of customers here onto the promo list. And we're going to quadruple, right? Four times, yeah. Four times your names. One... Two, three, four. So there you go. And then we're going to title this 48 box Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend football mixer RD. And then you get four times promo spots. So there you go. And let's paste in the customer names there. So there you go. Four times the promo spots right there. Now, everybody's in here. So, so far, guys, we have about 200 and 308 entries so far. We still have a couple more Black Friday Cyber Monday promo breaks to go. Remember, we're just on Saturday, guys. Joe comes in tomorrow. We'll probably post some more tomorrow. And then, of course, Cyber Monday on Monday. So... As uh, Nick posted in the information page that we will be adding more breaks throughout the weekend. Uh, remember, number one gets $1,500 in break credit. Number two gets a sealed case of archive ship sealed. Uh, Lionel Messi autograph jersey. Number three. Number four gets a 12-box case break of Topps Update hobby se ship sealed. And number five gets six boxes of Chronicles baseball ship sealed. So, total of over $5,000 in prizes. So, again, really appreciate you guys. Again, 48 boxes, a lot of different uh, products, a lot of different years. A lot of 2020, a lot of 2021. We have 2018, 2016, 2019. As far as 2012, I see right here, 2015. The majority is 2021, though. A lot of nice retail boxes and, of course, some nice hobby boxes. So, here we go, guys. Let's roll the dice. Boom. Got ourselves a 5 and a 1 six times. Good luck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And sixth and final time. Boom. Boom. Six times. Alfonso down to Brian Frank. And we got six times here. Six times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Boom. Six. Six. NFC East down to the NFC North. Boom. Alfonso with the NFC East. Christopher Gerard with the AFC North. Christopher Nelson with the AFC South. Kenneth with the AFC East. Gail with the AFC West. Carl with the NFC South. NFC West for Robert. And Brian Frank with the NFC North. Now, I'll give you guys a quick minute to make any divisional trades if you guys want. Um, if not, we'll close the trade window. Let's see what else we can find right here on TV. So we can play in the background. I'm actually going to go get a uh, monster box as well that I'm going to need for this. Oh, shit. Goodfellas is on. It's about to end, though, so I have to watch the ending in the beginning. Damn, Tommy Boy's on too. Shit. Some good movies out there.
Alrighty, guys. I guess no trades. Alright guys, so I do have a ton of boxes. I'll show you guys them right now when I pick up the camera. So, obviously I'm going to try to get through the front. I pretty much put it where, you know, the, the front has a lot of the heavy base stuff. A lot of the back stuff back there has a lot of the uh, really more higher end stuff. And then back here too, guys, uh, the four boxes of the mini helmets are just back there just because I don't have enough room to put everything here. But my goal is to get through the front of this. You know, a lot of these boxes are hangers and blasters and, you know, whatnot, so... Um, some of these will be longer than others. Some of them will be really fast. But, like I said, I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible. And again, here are the customer names with the divisions. In case you guys missed it right there. Sweet, sweet. So this is a 2021 Prestige uh, Fat Pack box. Which look for exclusive Sunburst Parallels. So again, some of these will just have exclusive stuff. Potentially, of course, have a chance to get autographs and numbered cards and stuff, but the majority of stuff is going to be, like, exclusive parallels that you can only get from buying the retail side of it. We have a Amir Smith Marsetti. Quinn Nelson. Absolute Heroes, Josh Allen. These are actually very nice. Or not Absolute Heroes, but Prestige Heroes. Mac Jones, rookie. Jalen Waddell. Nice Zach Wilson. And we have. Season greetings, Kyle Trask, Florida. Nice Trevor Lawrence there. So these are all just base. I'll kind of just skim through those. Skim, skim, skim. We got Larry Roundtree. Jonathan Ogden, Legends. Just skim through that. Nothing crazy there. We got Kyle Trask, Tyler Lockett, New Orleans Saints, Alvin Kamara. We have a Tamari on Terry. Youth movement, Josh Jacobs. Kirby. That is Rashad Bateman. Living Legends is all just base cards. Let's put that away over here.
Kazizo Jalari. Youth movement. We have Elijah Mitchell, Justin Herbert, Mike Allstott. Let's get through this. We have a Trey McKitty. We have Texas season greetings, Kellen Mond. We have a Jalen Camp and Devon Broncos, Drew Locke. Ooh, we got purple. DeAndre Hopkins to 149, Prestige Heroes. Very nice looking card. Jake Funk. That. Skip through that. Nice Kyle Pitts. Uh, Darius Slay, Youth Movement, Jalen Hurts, and nothing else crazy there. Alright, let's go with uh, Mosaic. Get that out of the way as well. Mosaic Fat Packs 2020. So, of course, you can still get like a Genesis potential uh, um, what is it called again? Uh, color cards in here which are the pink blue um, I think they have gold, I believe. Pinks are at a 10, though, I remember that. They have blue, orange, and yeah, some very nice colors. Fluorescence, I was trying to say. That's fluorescence in here that you can get.
Clean pool? Clyde was a lot green. Jacobs. Debut. Joey B. Hello, Paul? Yeah. Oh, sorry. One second. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, right here. It's on account key, so when you go to sports, you get account key. You can take it with you, it's fine. Dobbins. MVP is Tom Brady. Tua, Togo Vailoa, has been playing really good as of late. Another Tua. Jerry Judy. Cole Kmet. And a nice Herbie. Alrighty, let's do some legacy. Open up both boxes of legacy.
All right, guys. So let's open up the next box of Legacy. So once we get through this, I'll probably do the Donner's Optic Fat Pack right in front of us. I'll probably do Donner's Elite. And then work through like that Sage Premier Draft and some older products right there right in front. And then we'll go through the Hangers. And we'll go through the Blasters. And then after that, I mean, it'll pretty much be a lot of the higher end stuff. Including a bunch of uh, different years of playbook, which is going to be fun. Mac Daddy Jones. That's your rookie there. Number to 299. It's going to go to the Patriots. Little mini Drew Lock to 75. Mac Jones rookie there. Hey Manny. Christian Barnor. 199 Bears, Allen Robinson. And Brevin Jordan. Oh, I actually don't have my phone. Brevin Jordan is a Houston Texan. Drafted by the Texans and still on the Texans. Kadarius Tony. Cards are stuck to each other. Michael Carter, Mini. Jamar Chase. Trey Lance. Kenyon Drake. And Patrick Jones is second. I'll have to look at Patrick Jones right now once we're done with this box. Helen Hill. Caleb Farley. Two hour. 
And Javane Hawkins. Tyler Lockett to 150. And we have Patrick Sertain and Christian Barmore. It's a dual autograph. We'll have to look up those two right there. I know Patrick Sertain is a Denver Bronco. I'll have to look up uh, Barmore really quick. Barmore right there. All right, we got, ooh, we got like a little gold. I think these are out of five or 10, I wanna say, coming up. Nice, another Mac Jones color. Mac Jones to 299. And then we got a Josh Allen. Very nice. Under the lights. Under the lights. Out of 25, actually. Still a very nice card, though. Let's look up really quick this guy right here. Patrick Jones. And that is a uh, Minnesota Viking. Yep, third round pick. Javane Hawkins is a Los Angeles Ram. Well, actually, sorry. Javane, actually, we have to go by checklist for this. What am I doing? Uh, I'm just doing this two-hour mixer you see in front of me, Zach. That's pretty much it. I'll be done for the night after this. So will take me about two hours. <clears throat> um, group break checklist. Jane Hawkins, they have him listed as a Falcon on the checklist on group break. So that'll go to the Atlanta Falcons. And then, um, Barmore is a Patriot, and then Sertain is a Denver Bronco. So... We'll do that randomizer at the end of the break. So put ME Denver. And then we'll randomize that at the end of the break. Put that right over here. All right, Coolio, guys. Let's uh, penny sleeve these rookies here and we'll move on to the next box. So again, I'm pretty much getting done with all the really heavy base stuff in the beginning, guys. We got a couple more heavy base boxes like Donner Elite and the Optic uh, Fat Packs coming up. But other than that, after that, it should be pretty quick with blasters, hangers, and everything else that we have on the website or here in front of us.
and I'll also move out this these base cards here out of the way. Asi Asi. It was good Chenault. Joe Reed. Jake Luton. Justin Herbert. Get a downtown. Very nice. Derek Henry for the Titans. We already sold all the mixtures out, Callies. This is our last break of the night. This was our big 48 box football mix. It'll probably take us like two hours. Um, Derek Henry should be, I believe, AFC South, right? Yeah, AFC South. That's Christopher Nelson. There you go. Van Jefferson. J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, Mark. It just restarted on TV, so I figured I'd watch it in the background. I was watching Tommy Boy, but... I mean, I'm not really paying attention. I'm watching here and there. When I'm ripping packs and stuff, but just listening to it. Just introducing Jimmy.
Actually, not really, Carl. You have to also remember, too, a lot of this is 2020, 2021. 2020, uh, NFC South have Tom Brady in Bucks uniform. So, I want to think of it that way. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Obviously, if we have any autographs, potentially for like Saints, it would be like Drew Brees, Kamara. Um, Atlanta would also would have Kyle Pitts for 2021. Now, don't get me wrong. There's better divisions than others, as in every group break. But Bill Romanowski, Impact Impressionist. It's a 99 autograph. Got Justin Fields. We have to 399, Quiddy Pay. Jamar Chase. Rondell Moore. Redemption. Javante Williams. There you go, Calvin Ridley. That's a nice one right there. I think that's a case hit, I forget what the parallel's called, but. Ojalari. And we got to 49. That's another one for the Falcons, Felipe Franks. Aaron Jones relic. Full throttle, Raheem Moster. Jimmy Tuta. I'm going to go get the papers, get the papers. <laughs> this is a great character. All right, let's see who this is, guys. Pen Pals. Card number 34. Amonra St. Brown, which I believe is a Detroit Lion.
I know, man. I got some Felipe Franks and Calvin Ridley. What's going on here, man? But this was a divisional break, so. Let's go into Carl. Boo, Tebow. Boo. Boo. Alrighty. Let's rip this one going now, guys. We got Sage Draft. Blaster. And then we got this Sage Premier Draft. So this is going to be 16 autographs. 16 autographs. One autograph a pack. And usually, guys, honestly, there's probably only one, maybe two well-known players. But for the price point of the box, I think people love it, though, because you still get 16 autographs. Obviously, all you need is one of those autographs to hit. And it'll probably pay for the box. Or at least 75% of it. Yeah, I know. Definitely pricey, man. Definitely pricey. These are just going to be rookie cards. I think all the autographs are in that autograph pack, but... I will put to the side, like, all the bigger quarterbacks and stuff. Trevor Lawrence. Zach Wilson. Andre, Nick Ebunks, and Quan Baker. So again, a lot of these are just really not many well-known players. So some of these guys won't even be affiliated with a lot of these teams. They might just be on the practice squad, vice versa. So I think at the end of the break, uh, I'll look up these guys and see where they play at. And if there is a proper checklist. We'll go by that, of course, like we always do. But if not, then we're going to see where they're currently at, or et cetera, et cetera. But like I said, the majority of these players probably are not really on a team at all. But just maybe we're associated with a team through the practice squad and whatnot. Alright guys, so next box TJ Vasher, the Colin Hill, we got Marcus Murphy, we got Marcus Murphy again, we got Thomas Graham Jr., a little art gallery, Rondale Moore, uh, we have a Quinn Morris, a little Peyton Ramsey, Peak Performers. I don't think that's numbered right there. Nate Hobbs. We have Justin Fields. Jared Dokes. I 
At the beach for Thanksgiving. The day. We got down there, my brother. Oh, man. Shit. Well, hopefully your brother uh, has it as, as smoothly as possible. And then obviously, you know, hopefully um, you're okay too, brother. It's crazy, man. Have you have you have you gotten Kobe before, Brody? Kylan Granson, KJ Stevenson, Ian Book. That's a nice one. That's for the Saints. We know that. Caleb Huntley, Elijah Ponder, Semi Fajoko. That'd be Dallas. Blake Prohl. Man, that was actually nobody crazy. Like, well, no names besides Semi Fajoko. And, like, I think that's it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, um, pretty crazy experience, you know? Yeah, I, I, me and my whole family, I got it too, you know, my dad passed away from it last year from it. So, yeah, it's just, it's pretty crazy. I mean, it hit, it hit all of our, it hit a lot of us differently. Like, you know, luckily for me, like, it didn't hit me as bad, you know, compared to obviously my mom was in the hospital for a very long time, for like a month. Um, my dad passed away from it, but for me, I just really had a lot of body aches, uh, chills, and, and just wouldn't stop coughing, really. Um, for my wife, she actually, I think, had it, like, the easiest out of, like, my family that got it. She just had, like, a sore throat, just like I did the first, like, day or two, and then, um, just more tired than anything, you know? You just felt, like, super tired and drained. Um, but yeah, everybody's obviously gone through a different experience, but it is pretty crazy, man, you know, cause you just, whether you're vaccinated or not, you know, you just never know how it's going to affect your body. So it's just something to, uh, obviously try to, uh, what I would say though, Brody, if you do feel a little bit of crappy, if there's any way that you guys can like, um, if there's any way that you guys could, um, like, order, like, any, like, medication to the house and stuff like that, like, I would probably, like, one thing that I, I started drinking every day and, and it helped a lot, like, liquid IV, you know, to keep you, keep you, uh, hydrated, uh, so, if you get a fever and stuff like that, and, you know, take, like, emergency every day, they have, like, tablet forms, they have the powder forms, obviously the most popular, um, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, um, and really just try to rest. Try not to put so much stress on your body. Oh, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah. No, it's, it's wild, man. It's almost going to be a whole year now, man. It's crazy. This, this happened last year uh, right before Christmas. Right before my birthday and my wife's birthday on Christmas. You know, it happened like a week before. You know, it was a horrible experience. It sucked, but, you know, um, I'm happy, obviously, my mom uh, was able to get strong enough and make it out of the hospital. And, you know, now she's doing much better. Obviously a big life change for all of us, you know, but, you know, we got to keep on going on, right? Still with us always, but it was just, you know, crazy experience. So, like, I, I knew right away, you know, whether I had view, different views than others, you know, I was going to protect myself with, with the COVID vaccine and whatnot, you know. So, so just try to, you know... Pr Protect myself, you know, because that's exactly what my dad wanted to do, right? He wanted to get the COVID vaccine too, but, you know, wasn't just able to get it. But I think a lot of people change their views on, on COVID when they go through it and it's a horrible experience or lose someone close to them, you know. Then they say, like, oh, shit, you know, this shit's real. But then for other people that don't really get it that harsh, they, you know, some people, 
naive to say, ah, oh, it was nothing, you know, why is everybody afraid about it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not until it really emotionally and physically affects you that people start changing their mind on it. Josh Allen. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I was, man. Yeah. I had a lot of body aches. Um, I had a sore throat the first day. That's how, that's how actually we all started realizing it because... We had I went to go visit my parents and stuff like that, and we left on a Saturday, and Sunday I felt fine. I didn't feel anything wrong, but Monday I felt off. Like I just didn't feel the same. Like, and I remember specifically telling my wife, like, you know, I don't, I don't feel the same. Ooh, very nice, and Melvin Gordon, Great American Heroes, twenty one and twenty five. Like I don't feel the same. Like I feel a little off. It was just weird, and we were actually having like a little like Christmas like kind of party here for all the employees and that was even worse because we didn't know what we had at the time and uh but I didn't have like no major symptoms I just felt weird and then the next day I came to work and you know obviously towards the end of the night I, I started getting like a raspy throat soreness and then Wednesday when I woke up I woke up with a sore throat and so did my wife and we said you know what we can't go back to work you know we gotta go get tested because by then too my sister like texted us you know like oh I feel like I feel like I have a fever coming, I feel like this, and then all of a sudden, you know, my parents and everything like that were like all snap, you know? But there, for some people, it, it just stays hidden for a while, you know? Don't even experience any symptoms. And that's even the most scariest part. Yeah, exactly. It feels exactly like the flu. <laughs> That's the most scary part. It feels like a common cold or flu. For some people, it feels a lot different, obviously. But yeah, no, it's crazy, man. Shit is wild. But yeah, stay hydrated, man. Um, and try to just rest, rest up, and hopefully it just goes... Hopefully that's like the worst that you get, you know? Get as much rest as you can. And then, you know, when the time blows over, by the time you know it's been a few days and then you start feeling better and be able to get tested to get out of there. Alright, I'm going to open up all these prestige blast, uh, all these ones right here. Actually, Brody, um, I'm probably going to be done after this mixer. By the time I'm done with it, I'm probably not even halfway there. Um, but I'm assuming probably by tomorrow they'll probably be put into an R&B. Um, we actually sold quite a few spots, actually. And obviously, they're 20% off. So. But yeah, I would assume by tomorrow morning or something, it'd probably be turned into a random number block. That's only probably Nick would do. He'll have to decide whether he wants to keep it as is. And, you know, looking at the teams, you know, the Jaguars are still there. The Patriots are still there. 49ers and Bucks. I mean, that can be like a nice four-team R&B. And then the rest of the teams are just like $100 or less. You know, you can probably throw in the Bears in there. So I think it's something we can probably definitely do tomorrow. All right, so let's see. These are just going to be all based up until here. We got numbered, flying... Alvin Kamara's high versus Niners. 
Ayuk and Leonard Fournette, Marshall, Yami Brown. Stack cards with me. Elijah Moore, JC Horn. Nice, Delvin Cook. Oh, nice. Did you really? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that was another like little uh, promotion for like the weekend of Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Not a promo break, but I mean, 20% off, obviously. Kind of helps out, you know. Goddard. We got John Bates. Joseph Asai. Matt Ryan. AJ Dillon. We got just base there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, for the most part, I think our prices are always pretty competitive on the case-breaking side and on the YouTube side. But also, you know, we do a lot of giveaways and a lot of breaks, so that kind of helps out, you know. Discount certain breaks most of the time, and et cetera, et cetera, you know. But yeah. Wish it was, like, year-round. Gandy Golden, Mark Ingram, Evan Ingram, Harrison Smith, and Devin DuVernay. Josh Allen, James Conner, Sammy Watkins, Craig. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Uh, centering's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, but nice Joe Burrow. A little red ice. Uh, this break was a divisional break. Tivo was a 48 box mixer, random divisions, and I believe it was $1,650. $1,650. And yeah, we haven't even got to the good stuff yet. We're just, we're still rocking through the. More cheaper stuff. Brandon Ayuk, Juju Smith, Tyree Kill, Jalen Johnson. Nice Jonathan Taylor as well. Trey Flowers, Geno Atkins, Kevin Byard, Michael Vick, and Anthony Gordon. With Justin Jefferson and Clement Chasson. All right, we're going to go back, way back in time, guys. Way back in time and do 2012. How about some Tops 2012 football? You guys want to do some of that? Chasing potential Andrew Luck rookies, RG3. Nick Foles. Russell Wilson. Look at that. I still can't believe Russ. I, can't still, I still can't believe Andrew Luck retired. Still to this day, that was like one of the most shocking, crazy, draw-dropping news in like football history. Like when Andrew Luck announced his retirement. <laughs> that was just mind-blowing. And speaking of Andrew Luck, there he is right there. Look at that. Very nice. A little uh, giveaway time. Little platinum football pack. We'll wait for that. Also, want to say if I remember correctly, I think the Eagles drafted Fletcher Cox in this draft. So Fletcher Cox is a pretty nice player to get. And they even drafted Michael Kendricks. That's crazy. Joe Adams, Marvin Jones. Brandon Boykin, and there's a very nice Russell Wilson rookie. Well, that's the one thing, man. I don't blame the dude for for quitting. Well, not for quitting, but just basically retiring. Just, his body just couldn't, couldn't handle for his body, man. 
risk his quality of life the way he was getting just pounded. I don't blame the dude. A little blunt, the Garrett Blunt. So nice to phone Gilmore. Kelvin Johnson, Josh Freeman, Christian Ponder, Mark Barron. I guys remember Mark Barron? And that's the Garrett Blunt. All right, we got Russell Wilson, rookie. All right, let's let's kill through some of these blaster boxes right here. And then after that, guys, we'll have some pretty nice boxes to go through. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He he was a smart dude, too. I and mean, that, was the, that was the thing. Like, he was so, like, you know, he went to Stanford for a reason, right? I mean, obviously, he was good at football, but he had a great IQ. And I'm sure... I don't even know what he's doing now, and technically he doesn't have to do anything. He made more than enough money to not work in the rest of his life, but I'm sure he's doing something. He's It's kind of like, uh, you know, Justin Herbert. That's why coming out of the draft, there was a lot of, like, question marks for Herbert saying, you know, Herbert is not just your normal quarterback that all he knows is football, and this is his career, this is his life, you know? Herbert, like, got a degree in, like, biology and shit, so. A lot of people were, like, trying to compare Herbert to, like, Andrew Luck saying like fuck you know what, what if this guy in a few years because he gets like so beat up every year what if this guy decides to like just call it quits because he's just like no I, I can do other things in my life I really thought though honestly when he retired I thought he was just taking a mental year off and then he was just gonna say like Cam Newton like I'm back <laughs> but he never did and I, I feel like he still he still can if he really wanted to Obviously, I don't know if he'd ever go back to the Colts, though, because Carson Wentz is kind of... You know, Carson Wentz has stayed healthy, and he's done really well. So, but I really thought he'd be back after, like, a year off. You know? I really thought he'd be back, but... No, he's probably enjoying his life. Not earlier this year, they caught him, like, working out with, like, the high school football team. Or, like, coaching them, one or the other. Well, that was, a, that was a big rumor, too, that I was like, come on, guys. He's going to quit the NFL to go play in the XFL because his dad was a commissioner. I was like, come on. Stop. This guy's an NFL quarterback. He's not just going to leave the league to go play for his dad. But, no, he was serious when he decided to retire. Ayuk. Kenneth Murray. J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he could have done that at least. I guess. Louis Chanel, Little Herbie, Patrick Queen. Darnell Mooney's a great player, guys. I feel like his. Ooh, very nice. Little Herbie. There you go. Very nicely centered, too. AJ Terrell. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, didn't The Rock? bring back the XFL I think it's supposed to start up like next year or in two years isn't it him and his ex-wife I think bought the XFL I really think that if there's a way to somehow like 
Like when the AFF was out there, the American Football Legion, so whatever AF, American Legion Football League. I really think that if there can, if there's, there could be a way to not compete with the NFL, but to learn to be like a minor league system to them. Uh, I, I think it could really work. I, if some, if they can partner up with the NFL, I, I think you can have it where it's like a minor league system, right? They play every week as, as NFL teams do, right? And you can just get called up when there's like major injuries, you know? And really, you can kind of prospect people and shit like that. Like, I, I think that'd be really cool. Because even though Football League is already giant with 53 players on the roster and over 70 with the practice squad, I feel like it'd be really cool to kind of give a lot of those other players to, to time to develop, really. You know, they get NFL coaching... And they also get to play against other NFL players on the weekly basis. Rather than just practice with them and then it's over with, you know? I know that A, the, the Allegiance was trying to do that. But I don't think, obviously, they, they folded too, which sucks. Well, I, I used to be a big fan of... Uh, Arena football. I remember when the LA had their team. What were they called? Uh, I forget what they were called. Then Kiss and, and Anaheim was around for like a year or two. And uh, LA Kiss, but what were the other ones called again? LA um, Avengers. The Avengers? I think it was called the Avengers. Die cut, Matthew Stafford, James Robinson. Philip Rivers die cut. Jalen Rager. J.K. Dobbins relic. Marlon Davidson. I don't know, did I hit a gold prism? I didn't see. Xavier McKinney. Amari Cooper. Kyle Duggar. Drew Brees. DK. Oh yeah, I forget they did that Kurt Warner movie does look good. I'll definitely watch that. I don't know if I'll watch that in the movie theater though, but I'll definitely watch it at home if they ever have it on HBO Max or something. Streaming service that I can just purchase it on. Well, in those blasters they're they're what, orange orange lasers? That'd be awesome if I seen a gold in there, but they're most likely those orange lasers. Jared Pink uh, Pinkney, Lavisca Chanel Jr. Relic, Tyler Higby, Demarcus Ware, or Lawrence, I should say, DJ Dallas. James White and AJ Penzler. Keyshawn Vaughn. Singletary with a little print line. Justin Tucker, Mr. Automatic. Degara. Cole Komet Relic. Bobby Wagner. And Miko Harmon. Alright guys, well, let's count up how many boxes we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We actually have 26 boxes left, believe it or not. But, a lot of these boxes are very quick. So, 
we'll get through a lot of these rather quickly. So we've done almost pretty much half of them. We started off with 48. We have 26 left. Yeah. Pretty much halfway there, guys. And I've been breaking for about an hour and 20 minutes. So, hour and 12 minutes. So, I figured I will definitely probably be done around the 10.30 mark. 10.40, maybe. Um, let's go here to this Rookies and Stars. This is back in 2015. So, Mariota. Go Ducks, of course. Mariota actually scored a rushing touchdown for the Raiders the other day. Crusade, Derek Carr, Mari Cooper. That's very nice. Sean Mannion. That's an Oregon State quarterback right there. T.Y. Hilton. Buck Allen. Kevin White. Devin Funches. This is bringing me back. Back in time. Amari Cooper. Wow, look at that. It's going to go to the Raiders, though. Rogers die cut. Ifu Ekpre Olomo for my Ducks. He's a great cornerback. He was actually projected to be a first-round pick, but then he tore his ACL. Philip Dorsett to 49. Speedy receiver there, too, as well, or running back. I think it was both. Todd Gurley, DeMarco Murray. Man, we're going back in time right there. That'll be a randomizer as well. Famous Jameis. He was having a great year this year. Going to get paid, but now I don't know. With that injury. Colin Kaepernick to 99. Ty Montgomery relic. Andy Dalton. Look at that. Darren Waller. You guys want to see a Darren Waller rookie? It's Baltimore Ravens edition right there. Garrett Grayson. We're really going back. Sammy Watkins. Amari Cooper. Duke Johnson. Tony Lippett for the Dolphins. Matt Jones for the Texans. Arian Foster. JJ Nelson and Jameson Crowder. That was fun. All right, let's actually let's do this blaster, and let's actually do some of this collegiate stuff and get it out of the way. We'll do these two prison boxes, and we'll do Chronicles. And then I think after that, we can kind of go through Certified and, and do stuff like that. The Amari Cooper, Tebow? No, he was a rookie in 2015. That's a rookie autograph.
Denzel Ward. Lynch, Goddard, Deontay Bernie, uh, Burnett, and there you go. Payne Ramsey. Nice Zach Wilson, number to 25. Or number to 20, sorry. 15 out of 20. These are just red. The reds and blues are actually just not numbered. Patrick Sertain. T. Higgins. Caleb Farley. Chase Young. Amari Cooper. Allen. Trevor Lawrence. Rousseau. Mac Jones. Nice field silver. Mac Jones. And Marlon Williams to 25. Zach Wilson Blue. Remember, these are not numbered, but very nice looking cards. We got Antonio Gibson, that's actually numbered. Numbered to 50. Herbie.
my virginity to your daughter for crying out loud. Jalen Waddle to 99. Najee. Jamar Chase. Chuba Hubbard. Nice patch autograph to 99. To be going to the uh, Carolina Panthers, which is the NFC South. Carl. Trey Sermon. We got Damian Hazleton Jr. And we'll look up a lot of these college ones at the end, guys. Trey Sermon, Down and Dirty Relic. Christian Barmore. I believe that's Patriots. And Chuba Hubbard Relic. And Larry Roundtree. Yeah, it's a, I mean, and I think every division, depending on the year, is also pretty good. And that's usually how it works, you know. Someone doesn't like the division and think they they won't get hits, and then they hit. So it's, it works out that way. But obviously, certain people are probably chasing bigger players. But I think in a group break, man, as long as you hit, it's better than not hitting. Alrighty, what should we do next? I think let's do this mosaic. And then we'll go to certified. We'll do 2021 certified. Get those out of the way. This is a blaster, right? Yeah, blaster retail. Unwrap three silver mosaic parallels on average. Never actually opened one of these before. And I feel like these cards are going to be so damaged. So they're actually put in boxes like this. And they're probably not even protected either. Nope, they're just loose. Wow. I've seen the reactors before, I've just never actually ripped a mosaic box. Godwin, Kirk Cousins, Chubb, Saquon, Lamar Jackson. I'll kind of see all these reactors are actually really cool.
Seriously, bro? Man, put some good tape in there. Really didn't want us to break this. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's definitely not what I wanted. Alright. Keenan Allen. Michael Irving. Teddy B. Juju. And nice, AJ Dillon. Certified. Two autographs, two memorabilia cards. Elijah Mitchell, Miles Garrett, little patch there to 75, J.K. Dobbins, Amir Smith Marsetti to 199, little patch autograph. Aaron Darnold, or Donald, sorry. The Cecil Gillard. I'm about to Dan Reeves. Up. What's oh, that? Sorry, I'm about to lock that up. So okay. Do you need anything out there? Or? Uh, probably not. You can lock it up. Okay. One out of ten, Dan Reeves. Nice, uh, Trevor Lawrence there. Jerry Judy. And 149, Christian McCaffrey. Christian Barmore. James Robinson. So two forty nine, DeAndre Hopkins. Michael Carter patch autograph to two ninety nine for the Jets. 
That's AFC um, East, Kenneth. Roquan, Josh Allen. Patty Mahomes. $1.99. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a fun store, Tiva. And actually, it'll be Monday. No one comes in tomorrow on Sundays. Some sorters have Saturday Sundays off, some sorters have Sunday Mondays off, so. Bye, Jason. See you later, man. See ya. Josh Palmer. Yeah. Terrell Lewis to 30. Alrighty, let me actually go get another shoebox that I need. Alrighty, guys. Alright, we still got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 boxes left, guys. Four of those are going to be helmets. Let's go with some Leaf Metal football. So, again, guys, there should be nine autographs, including one slab, press proof, one of one.
JC Horn, number to 60. Then we have uh, Jamon Osborne to 60. Joseph Asai to 15. Khalil Herbert, that's for the Bears. Number to 35. NFC North. Quiddy Pay. To 15. We got Marcus Stevenson. Micah Parsons. Of course, that's a Dallas Cowboys tenacious D. One out of 30. NFC East. Quinn Alfonso. We have a Rashad Weaver. To 20. And last one is a nice Jalen Waddle for the Miami Dolphins. Number to 75. All right, so there you go. And we'll confirm these all at the end, or maybe I'll do a hip, hip recap video, and uh, I'll uh, tag all those up towards the end. And the one of one's gonna be a Puka Williams Jr. I'll quickly look up this dude. Let's actually pull up the checklist first too, and I'll keep the checklist open as well. Who goes a bangle? Actually, I might as well just look all these up right now. Since I already have the checklist up. Well, we know Jalen Waddle, of course, is a dolphin. Rashad Weaver is a Titan. Michael Parsons, of course, is a Dallas Cowboy. We know that. Marcus Stevenson's a Bill. Quiddy pays a Colts. Leo Herbert is a bear. Joseph Asai. Eagles for Jamon. And last one here is JC Horn is uh I think that's Carolina, isn't it? tagged up now since I got those here 
And we'll do the rest of them later. Let's continue on. All right, let's go Black Gold, 2016. Shannon Sharp. Emmett Smith to 225. We have a little quad relic. That's Corey Coleman, the quad tread, uh, Josh Doxon, and Will Fuller. So that'll be a randomizer at the end of the break. Connor Cook. Little patch autograph for the Raiders. Raiders, Raiders, and Devontae Booker. I did number three, Brody, uh, earlier today. The video should be uploaded, unless you didn't see it. I'll, I'll see if it didn't upload again. I had a problem with a video last night. We have Christian Hackenberger. Jamal Charles, that's number to ten. It features Goff, Wentz, Zeke, and Derrick Henry. All right, yeah, well, let me know, though. I'll double check it, but I sh should have been uploaded. Kenneth Dixon for the Baltimore Ravens. And how about some more Kenneth Dixon? Mother load. All right, let's stay in 2016 and do some playbook. Cam Newton to 189. Tyler Boyd, Relic. Booklet, David Johnson, and Trevor Davis booklet for the Packers to 199. Good thing I have some slider boxes here. All right, 2019 playbook. Relic here of Devin Singletary. 
Len Dawson. Nice patch there. You got some 120s here. Yeah, I do. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian Nightmare. Look at that. Nice little three-color patch. 15 out of 15, or two-color patch, I should say. KC, that's AFC West. Going to Gale. And look at that. My boy, Miles Sanders. Two off the jersey number as well. Fly, Eagles, fly. Philadelphia Eagles. NFC East. That's going to Ali Foto. Probably a case in the back. It is a it's a full case. Probably, yeah. If you want to check it out. I didn't see it, but would it be an RBR? Would it? Uh, it should be if if it was like loose boxes. It should. But it might be a case. Van Jefferson. Denzel Mims. And we have a wild card points. So this will be a wild card. Somebody will get that at the end of the break, and who knows? It might be some big points. Jordan Love, number 299. Book with autograph for the Green Bay Packers. That's NFC North. Brian Frank. Josh Juch, Jedrick Willis, Patrick Queen, Terrell Lewis, Brandon Ayuk, Jeff Okuda, Brian Edwards, Josh Allen, Jordan Love.
All right, elements. JJ Watt to two fifty. Chuba Hubbard relic. It's one ninety nine. We got Cornell Powell. Nice little uh, eight out of forty nine. Nice break for the Chiefs. Last couple boxes. Been getting a lot of nice hits. Jalen Waddle. There we go. Another one for the Dolphins. That's AFC uh, East. And Terry Bradshaw. There you go. Nice little box right there. Let's do some XR next. 2020. Then we'll go to Zenith. And we'll do Prism, Team All, Gold Standard. We'll end it off with Choice. And then we'll do the helmets behind me. And then it'll be it, guys. We're pretty much towards the end. Kyler Murray. We got Michael Pittman Jr. to 199. Drew Locke. Jalen Hurts. Ooh, nice patches right there. Look at that. One out of five. New Jersey number mojo now. Very nice for my Eagles. NFC East. Look at that. One out of five. Then you have Raymond Callis. Which is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jeff Okuda. Herbie to 249. Sony Michelle. Justin Jefferson. And of course, it was a Jalen Hurts box. Not only did you get a 1 out of 5 relic, you get a jersey autograph to 75. Very nice hit there. Another one for the Eagles, which is NFC East Alifonso. Very nice. Jefferson is a really nice number as well. I haven't really checked much, but has Hertz's stuff has gone up the last few weeks? He's been playing extremely well. Figured it would. Seeing it. This is actually a really good product. This was an online exclusive first, so a lot of, we didn't really break too much of it, but it's very nice looking cards, like very sharp. So. Obviously, Ruggsy, not the biggest player anymore, unfortunately. Andre, that looks like it's going to be an autograph. Dante Culpepper, Garner Minshew to 49, Brett Favre, and Cam Akers. Look at those patches in there for the Rams. He'll be back next year. That's uh, NFC West going to Rob Flores. But again, these cards look very sharp. And we have Andre Reed for the Bills. That is a 9 out of 10 autograph. Jamler, Henry Ruggs. 
Ross Blacklock. And Dante Fowler Jr. to 49. Two more boxes, 2021 Gold Standard. They will end it off with one of my favorite products of last year, Mosaic and Mosaic Choice, of course. Those are my favorite. And of course, we still have the helmets left, but still. We have Khalil Mack to 49 and Xavier Collins to 75. Mac Jones, Ramondre Stevenson, dual relic for the Patriots. Half Freermuth. Evan Ingram, white gold, very looks very sharp. Redemption and Ramondre Stevenson. Golden debuts, card number nine, Kyle Pitts for the Atlanta Hawks. Which will be going to the AFC South. Or, sorry, NFC, NFC South. Sorry, not AFC. NFC South. There you go, Carl. Don't look, Brody. All right. Last box, and then we'll do the helmets, guys. Good luck. This is by far my favorite product last year. Potentially get some peacocks, some nebulas. Hopefully we get a good rookie autograph as well. But I love me the color. We got Everson Walls, and that looks like it could be a gold. Yes, it is. Black gold, four out of eight. Darrington Evans to 88. Tyler Boyd, Adrian Peterson, and we got Brian Edwards with a Tua Togo by Loa and Jordan Love. Again, these are all number to 88. Or number to 80, sorry. Black Gold, though. Alrighty guys, so let's do the four helmet box bricks now. And these will be the last four boxes of the mixer, guys. So potentially I have a chance to get some pretty nice hits here. Maybe a Tom Brady mini helmet, huh? I got a little player card at least. That's right, we do. All right, Brody. You're probably the only one watching me. Tebow, if you're still here, we can do a little Who Am I. So played in four Super Bowls. Three-time All-Pro selection, seven-time Pro Bowl selection, a four-time AFC champion. Finished his career fourth all-time in receptions, sixth all-time in receiving yards, seventh all-time in receiving touchdowns. And set nine different receiving records at Cutstown University. Pro Football Hall of Famer in 2014. Right team, wrong player though, Brody and Chad. 
I'm a receiver. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. Andre Reed. Hall of Fame Buffalo Bills helmet, which is really nice. So, Bills, that'll be going to the uh, AFC South. All right, did I get that right? Let me see. I forget what division they're in. Yes. No. Sorry. AFC East. That's with the Patriots. Yeah, AFC East. Going to Kenneth. There you go. Yeah, four Super Bowls gave it away for sure. I guess I could have just said receiver, but. So we're going to go AFC East. Just put Cannon's name in there. I actually like that TriStar already gives you kind of like a little breakdown of who this player is. We don't have to like Wikipedia this be. Alright, next player. Alright, another another pro football hall of famer. Um I'm a uh, five-time Pro Bowl selection, ten-time Pro, or sorry, all-Pro selection, ten-time Pro Bowl selection, 1970 Pro Bowl co-MVP, won two Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys, part of the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor, played football at the university, played collegiate football, sorry, at the University of Oregon. College Football Hall of Famer in 1986 and Pro Football Hall of Famer in 1996. Who am I? So we know he played for Dallas. So that's definitely going to go to the AFC, NFC East, which is Alifonso. But who am I, guys? What old school receiver am I? No? Nobody? It's okay. I wouldn't have got this guy either. Although they did play for Oregon. Uh, Mel Renfro. For the Cowboys. Hall of Fame 19, uh, 1990. No. <laughs> Irvin played in the 90s. <laughs> this guy was a little bit older. So there you go, Alfonso. You got that one there too. Let's put a little sticky note on there. I, need, I like to do the modern players, you know. Old school players are cool, but unless you're like Joe Montana or something, it's not fun. Alright, two more, guys. Another old school player, but uh, I'm just going to give it away right now. I am a kicker and a Hall of Fame kicker. Two-time Golden, Golden Toe Award winner. I didn't realize he even had an award for that. Seven-time Pro Bowler. Five-time First Team All-Pro. 1988 Second Team All-Pro. Part of the 1980s and 90s All-Decades teams. 
all-time leading scorer in the NFL, all-time games played in the NFL, part of the Ring of uh, Ring of Honor Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame. And uh, obviously, if I give the team away, I think I'm going to give it away. But part of the New Orleans Saints Ring of Honor and the Saints Hall of Fame, as well as the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2017. Just recently inducted. <laughs> Sebastian Janikowski. <laughs> Again, that's going to go to the NFC South. Carl. Morin Anderson. He even got a kicker helmet. Isn't that cool? Whoa, he rolls a smiley face in his name. That's cool. <laughs> Hall of Fame 17. <laughs> he draws a smiley face in there. That's awesome. Alright, come on. Let this last one be like more modern, please. Last one, guys. No, it's another old school player. Pro Football Hall of Famer, 1991. Four-time Pro Bowl selection, 1971 Pro Bowl Cole MVP. Two-time AFC All-Star, a Super Bowl champion in Super Bowl Four. 75th anniversary all team, 100th anniversary NFL all team. Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame and Green Bay's Hall of Fame, retired number three by the Kansas City Chiefs. I would have never known who this guy was, not reading this card right here. And again, inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1991. It is a Chiefs edition, mini helmet it looks like. And I think I'm just going to show it. Lots of people remember Jan uh, Sternerud. Everybody remember Jan Sternrod? How could we not? There you go. Kansas City Chiefs, that's going to go to the AFC West, which is Gale. I think the first one was really cool, Andre Reid. I mean, these are all Pro Football Hall of Famers at the end of the day, but... Again, to filter, to get one of these, you probably have to get a lot of these Jans. You know? I get it. Alright, so AFC West, which is Gale. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, I think... I think since this was a two-hour break, I might actually just end this video. And, uh look up all these collegiate players really quick on the on the on the side and then we'll tag them just gotta want this video to continue going there's a lot of collegiate players that we'd have to look up um but of course they'll get shipped out to any team that they're uh, associated with and like i said some of these of course like ian book we kind of know already but we do have to do a randomizer though we have one second we got this randomizer, that randomizer, this randomizer, and there's one more in here. This randomizer there. So yeah, I might make a separate recap video. So yeah, let's make a separate recap video, guys, and then we'll do the randomizers in that recap video as well. So uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching this two-hour long video. Like I said, I'm going to do a recap video and a separate video. We'll do the randomizers as well. We'll have that all prepped and ready so that way we can just run, jump right into it. So again, guys, recap video and any randomizers we need to do. Uh, taggings we'll do in a separate video. Appreciate it, guys.